Isn't she bigger than you? I imagine her smirk creating crescent dimpled cheeks, her eyes to stare in anticipation, waiting to see if he's dilated too, before he said, so. The girl who fancied my ex did not like me and I could tell it was not jealousy because she wouldn't even look at me. I thought I'd be prepared, but the paparazzi wannabes had questions like, what does he see in her? Made comparison of lead wits, stomachs, arms, whispers for us, I wonder if she crushes him when holding hands or even when they lay together. Perhaps this is why I refuse to sit on his lap in public. He asked me why, but I could not manage. I am fat. I just wanted him to look around us, see all the beautiful body people and realise I wasn't compatible. Isn't she bigger than you though? Yes, I was. Yes, I am even now, and yet it's amazing how much space heartbreak can take. No medication can heal that. No medication can stop you reaching a level of isolation, meaning even comfort food isn't your friend anymore. I imagine the paparazzi people wouldn't care. They'd say, thank God, she's finally getting smaller. She's finally making herself a success story rather than a health hazard. I've grown up believing strangers who tell me I don't deserve to love my body. Grown up looking in the mirror only to see red numbers sprawled all over it. I tried to shrink away. Thought if I made myself thin, we would be electric, static. Something other than the skinny boy and the fat girl. But despite the press, Love isn't all about how much you weigh. Now, I don't love my body, but I broke the barrier to hating it by letting myself be accepted by somebody new, by letting the butterfly wings in my stomach heal, rather than digest the comments of those who don't even know me. So if anyone else asks, isn't she bigger than you though? I will laugh at the obvious statement, and we will both go, so thank you. to all the men in the room because I'm trying to I'm not trying to say I hate men so these particular men have really pissed me off at work so this is for them and it's called the response to actions I should have taken I'm on a stepladder whilst you're joking with my with your mate about trying to look up my trouser leg a awkward fake laugh but if you're trying to imagine it I'm going to imagine what it would be like to kick you in the face and pretend I didn't see you there I'm minding my own damn business whilst your mother tells you anything you want, put it in the trolley. You stare at me, then back at the trolley. In you get there, and when I don't respond, you desperately state, she said I could have anything that I want, and I imagine running over your flip-flop shoes with my trolley. I'm walking home at night, trying to avoid the glint of beer can in the street lamp light. You drunkenly slur hello, but I ignore you. I don't care if you think I'm rude, I'm a woman walking alone at night and you and your mates tell me I'm ignorant, tell me I'm a slag, tell me I deserve to be spat on. I wanted to tell you that I found the spots of the chewing gum on the pavement more interesting in this conversation. I don't care if you are drunk. If you should have a daughter, if you should have a wife, you better treat her better than the way you treat me. But I have to say, I think you'd be so lucky. Thank you.